Giselle de Leon grew up nowhere near the ocean, but this summer she's standing on a deck of a ship 6,000 miles away from home. I did get seasick like the first week. Yeah, I got pretty seasick. There have been some people on the crew that have been sailing for maybe about 10 years, and they've never crossed the equator before. So they were a part of the group in the lobby cheering like, oh, we did it. <laughs> the crew launches underwater robots diving as deep as 13,000 feet to collect rocks, water samples, and even discover new species. The first launch we had had never, it's never been seen by anybody. So wow. seeing that rock come up for one of the collections and being like, wow, like Val is the first person to hold this rock in millions upon millions of years. It's absolutely incredible. She's working alongside other scientists from around the world. The way I see it is we're building a case, right, on why should we protect these areas. I mean, we, we already know we love our environment. You know, they offer us food and oxygen and everything we need to survive, right? The ocean is connected to us. Even in San Antonio, you know, with the water cycle, our water, you know, comes from the ocean, evaporates, rains down goes due into our Edwards Aquifer and we have water to drink. But we can't protect what we don't know. So discovery is the first step to protecting these precious resources. On August 8th, she'll host a live interactive event with SAMHSA answering questions from kids across San Antonio. So we want to go on a ping pong with, um, with our audience that is actively watching from around the world.